This Saturday will mark a big day centered around a very special little girl named Olivia. It will be the third annual Pitt Hopkins Syndrome Walk in Lincoln Park. And joining us now to talk about it all are Brandy McCarthy and her daughter Olivia, as well as Dr. David Stockton, Chief of Genetics and Metabolic Disorders from Children's Hospital. We're so glad you guys are all here. Thank you. All right, so doctor, let's start with you. Tell us about this syndrome. A lot of people really just haven't even heard of it. No, most people, most doctors haven't even heard of it. It's very rare, probably one in 30 or one in 40,000 individuals born um, and has a presentation that is hard to recognize. Um, many of the features of it are common with a number of other disorders and so it's very difficult and it's usually a fairly long uh, journey for parents to find out what their child has. And Brandy, how has it affected Olivia? Um, you know, she's five, she has speech failure, she doesn't walk or crawl, so she adapts her way. She rolls to what she wants to get to. You know, it's a learning experience for all of us. And talk to me about when she was diagnosed, really how you found out. Um, we kind of suspected at six months, um, but by eight months when she wasn't very vocal, she wasn't moving, she wasn't reaching those milestones, they became concerned and she, they referred us to genetics. Doctor, you mentioned that a lot of people really just haven't heard of this, even, even doctors. How rare is it? Very rare. There may be, we're not completely sure, but maybe a couple hundred cases in the world. And when Olivia was diagnosed, the diagnosis had only been figured out, the cause of it had only been figured out probably about six months before her diagnosis. Wow. And is there any kind of cure or what is the treatment? Treatments are mostly symptomatic, so for what their specific problems are, so therapies, speech therapies, and occupational therapies, and so on, but no cure. I know you're talking about the speech challenges and everything, but I was reading on the website that she's still very vocal, you said, that she laughs a lot, and that she actually has a nickname. Tell us what it is and how she got it. Uh, I call her Sassfrass. <laughs> <laughs> I said she might not be able to tell you what she's thinking, but she shows you, you know. She's got lots of energy, and she is vocal, just without proper words. <laughs> <laughs> and tell us about uh, this Saturday's uh, fundraiser and what it is and where. Uh, Lincoln Park, we, it's our third annual 5K. Um, you can walk or run, that's a big question for people. Uh, it does not benefit Olivia specifically, it goes to all the children um, in the Pitt Hopkins community. And doctor, talk about why something like this event is really so important for Olivia and kids like her. With these really rare disorders, and there's so few, it's so difficult to get the resources necessary to get an understanding to support the families, mm -hmm. to help them with all the things that come up in their lives, and to help researchers figure out are there treatments and what can we do. Mm -hmm. And Brandy, talk to us too, just you know, as a mom, and there are so many challenges that come along with this for you and the rest of your family. Tell us what you want people to know about this syndrome. She, she, we, we try to keep her normal, just like our boys. Yeah. We treat her the same way. Yeah. We know she needs extra care, and we just want people to do the same thing. Absolutely. Well, you're doing fantastic work and doing such a great thing with having this event. We know it's going to be a great success. And Olivia, you are adorable, sweetheart. And Say thank we know you. it's going to be wonderful this Saturday. And thank how you. much are tickets again? Um, they're $25 for adults, meaning 13 and older. Um, five and below is free, and it's 15 underneath that. Okay, okay, wonderful. Thank you all for being here. Thank and you so if you much. want to learn more about this, you can go to our website, wxyz.com, and you can just check the scene on 7 Section. Malcolm, over to you.